tonight. This Hayward man accused of being a top secret spy for the Chinese government. The U.S. Attorney's Office says 53 year old Edward Pong was acting as a San Francisco tour guide, but he was caught on camera delivering classified U.S. documents to China. Night beats Katie Nielsen on what his wife and neighbors are revealing tonight. Katie? According to neighbors, Ed, as they knew him, was quiet and unassuming. He lived in the suburban Hayward neighborhood with his wife and two children, and tonight he's accused of living a double life, one of a Chinese spy. I'm shocked. I mean, you wouldn't expect it in this neighborhood. You wouldn't expect it anywhere. FBI agents say that's Edward Pong, wrapping $20,000 in cash and taping it under a TV stand at a hotel in Georgia. A few hours later, agents say Pong comes back to pick up a memory card he thought contained classified national security information. But in reality, a double agent working for the FBI is the one who left the memory card in the dresser. According to court documents, that double agent penetrated the spy ring in the Bay Area in 2000. 2015. The agent was directed to Pong, who would pick up the memory cards and fly them from the U.S. to China. While some neighbors are in disbelief tonight, I don't know what to think, I don't know what to say. Like, that's crazy. Others say they suspected something was up. At some point, you kind of question, like, where did this Porsche, Tesla, and Lexus come from? Alita Torres said it all made sense once she heard Ed is accused of being a Chinese spy. You're surprised, but at the same time, we weren't shocked because we were kind of like, you know, well, that explains the car. Well, that explains why it doesn't seem like anybody's working that often. But court documents say Pung was working, spying for the Chinese, paying for classified information from the U.S. government through so-called dead drops at hotels in Newark and Oakland. This arrest is the fourth case we've seen of Chinese espionage just in the last several months. Investigators say they had tight control over the information being delivered to Pung through that double agent. I had a chance to talk with his wife earlier tonight. She said she did not want to talk with us on camera, but said she has no idea how her husband could be involved in any of this. In Hayward on the Night Beat, I'm Katie Nielsen.